Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Route X Lap Attack. We're going to be using the GR4 variation of the Hyundai Genesis. We tested this car earlier, but that was the GR3 variant. I also finished getting the update. That's kind of mandatory if you want to play this game online. And I'm really disappointed. Like, I waited a long time for practically nothing. Don't get me wrong, the Yaris is a really cool car. But, really? You're making me wait this long just for one measly Yaris? The next update, if they do that again, I am going to sell my PS4. And then buy the PS5. Ha 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 ha. You thought I was going to do something drastic, didn't you? Anyways, our Hyundai's off to a decent start with a... Uh, top speed of 191 miles an hour. Oh, I'm sorry, 192. I didn't think we are going to be able to go any faster. So obviously, as you can tell, we're not going to be able to make the fastest lap time. And why do I have the hard tires installed? That gives me less grip. Oh wait, I remember. I was doing one of those uh, races. I think an endurance race. As part of the campaign, though, not multiplayer. And despite having less grip, the hard tires do last longer. Which is good, but it really doesn't make much of a difference when you're doing an online server, because they can take the tire wear off. So everyone just goes for the super soft, and they go around the, lap, uh, they go around the track faster to set a fast lap time. I thought I had something on the wing, but I guess not. Might have been with one of my other race cars. Either the green NSX that we tested earlier, or something different. Whatever it is, I'll find out. You'll most likely see it in a future episode. Once we're done with the Hyundai, I'm going to be testing out some more Japanese cars. I've got a few Toyotas and Mitsubishis I want to show off, especially with the paint schemes. The first Toyota that we'll be testing in the next episode will be the 1997 Supra. I also have the 1988 version, but before we get to that, we will try out a couple of the Mitsubishis. And to be fair, out of the two, I think Mitsubishi is much better. A lot of people tend to say the Toyota is better, but that's because of what the advertising says. It's almost like the news media. Advertising can be liars. Or I should say advertisers can be liars. Advertising can trick you. You learn that, especially when you watch Spongebob. Eat particle chips. They're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious. Not the way I use them. I swear I can hear a rush of wind whenever I pass the white stripes on the road. The sound quality for my headset isn't the best, but I do have pretty good hearing. Like I can hear random sound effects in the background that most people can't even hear. 
unless they have like the super high quality headsets that cost like 40 or 50 dollars me I like to save money I mean I'm not gonna go for something bad quality that breaks down easily obviously but I'm gonna spend just enough money to get something that's reliable no more no less sets that I've had for four years and I've not been disappointed with them. I'm gonna actually take it off my head to see what it was. I forgot. It says rig. I apologize if there are any bad sound effects. You know, like the <laughs> or stuff like that while I was taking my headset off to read what brand it was. At least I was able to get all that done before getting to the curve, otherwise I would have crashed into the barrier. Or the barrier was weak and flimsy, I could have driven over the edge and killed myself. And you obviously don't want that. Bad enough we had some drivers doing that during the 1960s NASCAR races. Like I said, this isn't the fastest car in my collection, but it still goes pretty well. Now, at least we did it in under six seconds. We got a time of 5.52 and a half. We'll take a look and see how we did compared to the other cars. We're obviously not in the top 20, but we'll see how close we came to getting into the top 20. And so 5.52, there we are. We are under the um, GR4 NSX that I mentioned earlier. Slowest lap time now is the Super B, five and a half. So we were 21 seconds slower. But the Super I have, which is also painted in green like the Super B, will probably end up knocking this car off the leaderboard. I was going to say something ridiculous like this is going to take first place. But no, I know better. I'm going to set the bar lower and say that the Super will probably get a time between the Porsche and the Countach. We will find out in the next episode.